Hey guys, how are you? Hope everything's going well. This video will most likely flop, but I mean, oh well. I feel like there needs to be more videos like this. I don't know what it is, but recently I've just been seeing way too much slander regarding the comebacks of 2021. So I decided to pop in and make a positive video. This is my first time doing a video like this, so please bear with me. I wanted to get this video in before Lisa Solo because I know that she's just gonna make my entire list change. And I also wanted to put this out before permission to dance. Don't know if that'll work out, we'll see how that goes. But fat disclaimer, I am not by any means trying to offend the artist here. Just because I like one song more doesn't mean the other songs are terrible. If your fave's song isn't here, I'm so sorry. There are so many other songs that I love. But for the time being, these are my personal top 10. I love Itzy. I want to start by saying that. But when I first heard that song, I was not the biggest fan of it whatsoever. Itzy songs do have a way of growing on me though. Um, or I guess like Izzy title tracks. So I hoped and prayed that I'd be able to enjoy it. And oh my Jesus, when I tell you, I switched so hard. I don't know what it was. Something in me just switched. But I'm so happy it did. First, I want to discuss that bridge. That bridge had absolutely no business being that good i'm sorry like bridges for me in the song is what makes or breaks it for me and when i tell you that this bridge hits so different every single time that i hear it y'all they really did the damn thing with this and i could not be happier sorry i'm an anti-romantic I have never been so thankful for a TikTok. I'm pretty sure we all know that TikTok of the pretty little white girl dancing to it. I've seen it everywhere and I'm obsessed with this song. I don't stand TXT. I'm not really a fan. However, I do want to get into them when I have time. I'm super busy, so I don't have any time right now. But when I do, I'd really like to get into them. But for the time being, I'm not a fan. But this song, top tier gold, I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on in Big Hit, but whatever it is, it, it needs to keep on happening because this, yeah. Keys is one of my alts so it makes me very sad to say that i was not the biggest fan of this song when it dropped i became an aid to me last year during thanks era so this was technically my first comeback with them so you could understand how excited i was i don't know what i was expecting but it was a lot different from what we got <laughs> however the great gods came down one day and slapped the living hell out of me because I suddenly fell in love with this song. I don't know if it was watching the live stages, but something just clicked and I became obsessed with it. It is their hardest choreo though, by far. So me learning it was not exactly the most fun experience, but nevertheless, it still slaps, so. Another story that's sad and true I can feel the pain in you now before any blancs or solo rose stands come for me i love rose i love blackpink 
Blackpink is one of my alts and is my favorite K-pop girl group. So this is no shade to her at all. Both of Rose solos were stunning and worth the wait. I'm not going to get into that English slander that y'all had with these two tracks, but I'm happy for Rose and everything that she's accomplished with her solo. That being said, Gone is a very stripped down song and it has a nice little sad vibe that I low-key love. Not to mention that one part in the second verse lives rent free in my head as it should. I know that a lot of people liked Gone more than On the Ground. However, I am not one of those people. Like I said, Gone is a bop, but it just doesn't captivate me the way the other songs on this list captivate me. However, I do love it, and it's a very good song to just cry to. I highly, highly suggest you try it out next time you have your little crying sessions because I promise you it's free therapy. say is Minnie is a goddess. Not only was she stunning on the live stages, but she was literally glowing in the music video. I don't think y'all understand. She sung her heart out. They sounded gorgeous on the English version and the Chinese version, and I don't even understand Chinese. That being said, although I feel like Minnie took Hua by the throat and claimed her as her own, my favorite part is Sujin's part in the first verse. Like, hello, fourth gen vocal queens. Like, we stand. I'm not going to get into the lack of lines that Shua had or I guess didn't have. But all I know is that this is definitely my favorite song from them. I also really love the album, Dahlia Supremacy. I don't care what anyone says. That's literally the best song on the album. Anyways... Hua makes me feel like a princess breaking out of a cave or like a castle. Like they came and left absolutely no crumbs. Period. Point blank. <laughs> but I did think that Tag Me was super cute and catchy, so I was excited for this next release, and oh my god, I have no other words for this song other than flawless. Like, everything from the verse to the chorus to the rap to the bridge to the end was flawless, and I'm so close to standing because they had no business coming back that hard. I especially like the, I'm so good with you part like yes vocals passed every single test for a good while this was song of the year for me no joke like after school deserves all the hype it got and so much more like oh my god I, I Icon, Icon, Icon. I'm not a fan of Icon. Nothing against them or their general music. I just don't stand. But oh my Jesus. First of all, they're from YG. So I know that the song is going to have some type of imprint in my brain. But Jesus Christ. When I tell you, since the day I found out about this damn song, I've been listening to it every single day. Like, I think I have a problem. The last song that was like that for me was answered by ATs. Like, the music video was gorgeous, first of all. The vocals were amazing. Rap was amazing. And I want to praise Junho, I think that's his name. Please don't attack me if I pronounced it wrong. Because this man, he went on the ground, did a half curl crunch, whatever, and banged on his chest and still sounded like an angel. I'll insert the clip after this because y'all need to see it. I mean, like, it could just be me overreacting, but, like, that part plays in my head a thousand times 
like i mean what should i expect from yg artists anyways they're all freaking talented as hell no surprise there making me feel like just useless as always <laughs> Another group I don't stand is Luna. I've heard only two songs from Luna, and they're both bops. I didn't think I'd fall in love with Paint the Town as much as I did, but oh my god. That song hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, there's not one part in that song where it feels like empty or felt like something shouldn't be there. Everything fit perfectly and I'm so happy that they released this. I do want to say that I don't know what company they're under, but they need to be taken care of. Because frankly, I don't like seeing girls covered in band-aids if it's not like for the aesthetic. And literally, like fainting out of exhaustion after performing a song. Mm. Everything I need is on the ground On the ground Everything I need is on the ground I said before that I liked on the ground more than gone And I stand by that on the ground is everything I've ever wanted from this woman. She said, I am Blackpink's main vocalist and I'm here to give y'all something that will blow your minds. And it absolutely did. That high note and the looks and the choreo. On the ground is a masterpiece and it deserves to be loved and cherished. And I will be the one to do that for her. Rose was looking so happy during her solo promotions. I know she's been hiding this in for years and she's finally getting to release the music that is hers and I'm here for it 100%. The message of On the Ground I think is what draws me to it even more. The way she's just like talking about her past selves literally gives me chills. And then like the, the sudden realization of everything that's happening around her is just stunning. And I know she had some credits for writing the song, as she should. Queen. Now this song this damn song when i tell you bigot is selling some type of crack or whatever something is going on in that building and i want to know what it is because this song is the definition of song of the year armies hate on me all you want but butter a hundred times better than dynamite in my opinion and that says a lot because dynamite was my little baby i protected her and loved her and now i will do the exact same thing to butter I will literally sell my organs for this song. I will give my life savings up for this song. I will literally do anything and everything for this song because it deserves it. And to see it break in the same records as Dynamite, like, yes, sir. I stand the biggest boy group in the world right now. I swear Jungkook came in with that freaking smooth like butter. My heart dropped and I was ready to fly to Korea and give everything up for these seven men who don't even know I exist. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and tell me what songs you guys loved in your faves of 2021 so far. Hopefully we can agree to disagree respectfully. Um, <laughs> sorry if I'm like whispering. I don't want to like wake my family up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. I'll figure something out for my next video but thank you guys so much and i will see you guys later bye